Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to change colour of an image or object in an image. I know there are ways to change colour by using the quick mask mode and such, but this way is slightly more advanced, it works a bit better in my opinion, and I'm going to take you through it. First we're going to go to the background layer, drag it onto this button here to duplicate it, or hit command or control J on your keyboard. Go to image, adjustments, and go down to replace color. Now you're going to take your first sample. This will be your main sample, so click on the click on the color that appears most in your image that you want to change basically. Okay. Once you've got that colour, you'll notice not all of the orange has been selected. And I want to change the colour of all the orange. So we're going to go to our Add Samples tool and keep taking samples. And as you can see, more of the orange is lighting up. And the white indicates the bits that will change colour. OK. So basically, you're going to try and get all of your image or part of the image that the colour you want to change white and it is quite hard to get perfect but we'll go over that later you can adjust the fuzziness slider you don't want to adjust it too high because the color white is the bit that will be changed eventually so you just want it like quite low I mean you'll alter it depending on your your image but I need mine quite low at the minute okay I think I've selected pretty much all the surface area on the oranges. Now the replacement down here is the colour you're going to change it to. So slide these bars along and find a colour you want. As you can see it's changing colour already. It's a really vivid purple right there. Then goes to blue, light blue. As you can see down here the, uh, the shadow has been changed colour as well. That's because the shadow of the orange was a slight orange colour. So it has sampled that and thought it should change that colour as well. So find a nice colour you want to change it to. I'm not going to change mine too drastic, I'll just have a nice red. Change the lightness as well. OK, that looks alright. And once you're happy, just click OK. And as you can see, we've kind of got a different colour going on, but we still need to get rid of the the spills of colour that have, like, gone onto the leaves because of the sampling we did. Alright, so you're going to add a mask to your layer and go to your brush tool making sure the foreground colour is set to black and in the leaves go over the parts that have changed red and now just go back to the their original colour. As you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, bit there as well. We can leave the shadow the colour it is because that's what colour it would have been if the oranges were actually red. Okay, that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching.